Daniel Tom's works of art are truly unique and original. They're not like Northwest Coast art or even the traditional art of his people from Seton Lake near Lillooet. All his pieces represent weapons, tomahawks, clubs, hatchets. But they have a theme that's universal to all First Nations and the animals they revere, the struggle for survival. We all live with the animals. We've all fought similar battles. We're always preparing for new battles are inevitable. Stories of struggle are told through animals that represent clans and nations. The eagle, the wolf, the grizzly bear, the loon, and the killer whale. The thunderbird here that hunts killer whales sends lightning dogs out from its feet, zips down, so this killer whale got lucky it escaped jumping on the last uh, wave hitting land. The two howling wolves, one on each side up here, could represent the uh, aunts and uncles of the wolf pack. There's an environmental component to Daniel's work. He uses many non-traditional materials, anything he can find or scavenge. A maple handle, you know, the wood goes all the way up into the, the head here. This is beaver fur, the maple that has also been, that I got from my reserve up a creek behind my place. This is black chlorite. This is uh, alabaster. This is one piece of uh, African kissy stone. But it's actually got the red, the brown, and you can see how it changes there. But uh, on this side, there's actually the, the red that looks like the blood splatter coming up from the blade after the wolves attack. He even takes apart old disposable cameras to scavenge the lenses to use as eyes in some of his creatures. Or in the case of the killer whale, a blowhole with a battery-powered light behind it. So that light goes on just by pressing the Thunderbird's red eye on the left side. Rarely do I have to go out and purchase something that I need for a project. It seems like everything I have kind of fits together to make what my aim is. These claws, they're made from a deer antler that someone gave me. Even the bases of his carvings feature unusual technology. Yeah, these are all rare earth magnets that are super powerful. An extra safety feature in case they ever get bumped or there's a tremor or something. So what does it all mean? Well, that's one thing Daniel Tom can't tell you. I don't know where it comes from seems to have a purpose. I'm still working on it.